guys, I'm Layla. Welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today we're going to be checking out the new lore story for Ugo. Raid has really been doing a good job of filling in a lot of these missing lore stories, not just the legendaries, but also to some of these epics as well too. So here is Ugo's story. Ugo is a battle summoner, a herald for a war that has long since been lost. Her abilities are linked to the summoning horn and the great war drum, twin artifacts of both symbolic and magical power that have taken on an almost mythical status among Ogren down the centuries. Ugo knows the stories of her ancestors and believes that a time will yet come when her magical instruments will help usher in a new age for Ogren kind, uniting the tribes and perhaps even forming a true Ogre nation. In the latter years of the Galen War, with Galen Pack forces struggling against the armies of the Telerian League, Pack sorcerers sought to win new recruits by uniting the Ogren tribes dwelling outside the Sar Lakes and driving them to a war in their favor. Besides emissaries and entreaties, they created a number of magical artifacts, instruments imbued with arcane energies that could speak to the tribal heart of many Ogren. These instruments accompanied the Pax messengers, and whenever they were played, they echoed in dreams and called to the Ogren who heard them, stoking up both their desire for vengeance for the Red Crusade and feelings of unity and kinship with others of their kind. One strong Ogren woman with a rare set of powerful lungs and an instinctive sense of rhythm named Glog was chosen to be the bearer of two of these magical tools, the Summoning Horn and the Great War Drum. While they certainly had a pronounced effect on those neutral Ogren tribes she visited, leading many to join the pact, it was not enough to turn the tide of the war. Glog and her horn and drum survived the pact's defeat, with the instruments becoming treasured family heirlooms, but almost all such artifacts were destroyed either by the victorious Salarian forces or the ruthless march of time. As the latest ascent of Glog, Ugo jealously safeguards both the summoning horn and the great war drum, and plays them with practice, skill, and vigor. She is fiercely proud of the instruments that, though centuries old, remain stout. The drum's old hide as tout as ever, while the horn is crisp and clear. And while there's no longer a true gallon pack for Ogren to rally to, whenever Ugo plays her instruments, those Ogren around her experience a sense of warlike unity beyond anything they've ever felt or known before. In doing this, Ugo hopes to make Glog and all who've played the instruments since proud. Ugo sees herself as a keeper of Ogren tradition and is therefore a common sight at tribal gatherings, summoning Ogren from miles around, or indicating the beginning and end of feasts, councils, or competitive games. She hopes to use her instruments to remind her people of their proud heritage and to bring unity to the tribes that are too often split and divided. This has made her a target in the past. She has been hunted by an Arabian noble determined to claim instruments to study their magical properties, and by agents of the sacred order who hope to destroy them, and thus help break any sense of kinship among the Ogren. Despite this, she has met and defeated every challenger, her ongoing efforts to bring together her people backed up by her size, strength, and the damage she can wreak in combat when the great war drum is slung on her back and she uses her heavy beating sticks as maces. Okay, guys, what do you think about that? So it talks about how the these tools, these instruments, the horn and the drum are used basically to rally tribes together because we know that she's a reviver in the game, right? Like that's, that's basically what she's using this for in the game. So it's very interesting how they... I feel like it's interesting how they how they did this, right? Is they made these kind of these family heirlooms that kind of got passed down tradition to tradition. But I'd love to know what you guys think of the lore story for Ugo. And thanks so much for watching.